Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna do a Love Every unboxing for you guys. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys toy rotations and the toy rotation that I'm gonna do this week for baby girl, which Jade is my daughter. She's a toddler right now. She is two years old. And then I also have my baby boy. I do not do toy rotations for baby Knox. He's seven months right now. So with him, what I do is I just kind of pull out certain toys at a time when I play with him. He He's not crawling or anything so he can't really go and pull out the toys that he wants to play with. Um, when he does start to do that then I'm going to redo the toy rotation area that I have set up for Jade and set it up for both of them. But for now, today I'm going to do the unboxing. If you don't know what Love Every is, it is a subscription based Montessori inspired toys for babies and toddlers. Every box is curated to your baby's age and developmental stage that they're at or where they should be at. So each toy is specifically in this box for your child to learn something and for them to learn to use their imagination. They learn how to be independent. There's so many different ways to play with your child with these toys. If you have been interested in Montessori and Montessori inspired living, lifestyle, practical play, um, sensory play, all of those types of things, then this video is definitely great for you because Love Every literally takes the guesswork out of it. I love these boxes. I started trying to implement more of these Montessori inspired items with baby girl and my son probably at the beginning or the end of 2020. Going through that pandemic and everything, being at home all the time really made me think about, okay, what things can I do with my kids because they're constantly bored or they're wanting to do something all the time. And I want to make sure that they're learning something from this that they're not just you know doing things just to pass the time by so when I started delving more into this I felt overwhelmed I was like where do I start what kind of toys do I need to buy do I need to clean everything out and start over like what am I supposed to do and I would look for inspiration on Pinterest which definitely helped um, I bought a couple different things on Amazon but I was still confused at what types of toys I should be giving my child at their ages Love Every comes into the mix and takes all of that guesswork out of it. Each box is about three months worth of playtime and toys that you can start bringing into your child's life and playtime routine. Now, you don't just pull out every single toy and just throw it in front of them. Each toy has a purpose and they give you a little booklet inside each box to tell you exactly what each toy is, maybe which one to start with, um, how you can play the, with the toy with your child, what to teach them, all of those kinds of things. So literally, guys, this thing is a lifesaver if you have kids at home, um, especially babies. This is the best time to start this out. My older two boys, I wish I would have started this with them because I feel like there's certain things that they would have known how to do by now. For example, you know, just easy things, practical things like how to cook something, how to do their laundry, how to put their clothes away and their shoes and all of those things. If you teach them early on when they're babies and toddlers, that becomes second nature. Yes, my boys could do those things, but they don't want to. And it's not second nature to them. So I have to teach them differently now. And I am still implementing the Montessori inspired things with them, but it's definitely harder to do when they're older. So if you have young babies, this is the best time to start. Um, if you have older kids, that doesn't mean you can't start it then. It's just gonna be a little bit harder to get them to do those things. It may take a little longer, but it, you can totally do it. So let me go ahead and start out. I'm gonna start out with baby boys first. He is seven months. This kit right here is for month seven and eight. It is called the Inspector, and it comes in this box right here. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up with you guys so you guys can see everything that comes in the month seven to eight box. So when you open the box up, it has their cute little saying here. And on the inside, it shows you all the items that are inside your box, uh, the suggested timeline for introducing playthings. So it literally gives you a timeline of all the different items that they have in this box and when to show them to your child. So this is the looker would be weeks zero to 12 months. That would be that box. Then you go to the charmer, which is months three to four. And then the sensor months five to six, which we have months five to six. We just got that one in. So when I started with Love Every, that is when, when he was five months old is when he got that box. Um, and then it shows you down here. This is the one we have right now, the Inspector, seven to eight. They have the Explorer, nine to 10, and the Thinker, months 11 through 12. 
So we've got our little basket here. This one is the treasure basket is what it's called. I think the balls are in here. So it gives you a wood ball set and a felt ball, ball set. So these are the felt balls right here. This one is kind of like a blue color. We've got this mustardy color. And these textures are great because that's what you want your child to learn too are textures, especially at this age that he's at right now. And then we have a really pretty orange. So I can put those in here. We've got like a blue turquoise wood ball, a natural wood ball, and a green wood ball. So I've got those all in here for baby boy. And this really pretty woven little basket, perfect for him to pick up. Not too big, not too small. And it holds all his things in there. And obviously he can learn how to take them out, put them in. He feels the textures, the smoothness of the balls of the wood ball and then the texture of the felt ball. Okay, moving on, we've got this guy here. So these are obviously stacking cups. These are called the nesting stacking drip drop cups. So obviously you can stack them one on the other here, but it also has holes on the inside. So if he ever puts water and things in there, the water is gonna come out in different ways. So like this one has dots all the way around the bottom this one has the little holes literally covering the whole thing it's just really cool different things that they can do with all of these a lot of the toys that they're sending you are all open-ended toys a lot of them are so you can use them in to uh, tons of different ways this is my first signs book so if you ever want to learn how to teach your baby sign language so that they can communicate with you better I tried doing it with my toddler my daughter and it definitely worked so many times but I have to be honest I didn't keep up with it very much but there are times now that I have you know tr she's been trying to tell me something and she gets frustrated because she can't figure out how to get me to understand what she's saying and I'll start using different sign language and she'll kind of you know remember it from before and be like oh yeah 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 and so she'll do it back to me and I'm like okay I get it so I wish I would have kept up with her so this will be great for baby boy and I could probably still use this with baby Jade as well so it's gonna show you like up here it shows the uh, you know somebody actually showing you how to do it in the pictures and then it says I'm hungry daddy can I please have food so it's showing you what that sign is for this is for eat this one is for drink then we have milk we have more, all done, help, thank you, book, and bed. So again, y'all, just really good stuff to use. I definitely am excited to start doing this with baby boy. Next thing comes this really pretty box. We open this up and we have flashcards. So these ones, these are things I see texture cards. So each one obviously has a picture of something. It tells you the word at the bottom and then it has texture for it. This one says shoes and then the shoelaces right here are actual shoelaces so they can feel that texture. And then on the opposite side, it says books. This one says hat and so you can feel the baby's hat. And then on the other side, we have banana. So there's a lot of really good things in here. Again, teaching your child, like baby knocks at seven months, you know, he's he's just a sponge. He's learning everything. He's, his eyes are constantly moving and listening and um, watching us, what we're doing. So these are that's a great time, especially for this, to be implemented so that we can start learning all the different things. And that's gonna teach him how to talk later, how to learn words later. They actually are watching our mouths, even though he just babbles half the time, he doesn't really try to talk very much. Right now, he's still learning. His brain is trying to learn what each word means. I've watched Milena Susiotti's video on how she got her daughter, her two-year-old daughter, to speak I don't even remember how many words it was, like 3,000 words or 6,000 words or something a day. It's crazy that her baby girl can talk so well. And my daughter is almost the same exact age as her, and she doesn't talk and say as many words as her daughter. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, that my daughter is dumb or that doesn't know enough or something. Every baby is different. They all have their own timeline on when they learn things. Don't ever compare your child to another child's development because everybody is different. They're all gonna learn every, all the same things eventually, but just not at the same time. So it didn't make me feel like my daughter didn't know enough or that I did something wrong, but I do feel like that what she was saying in the video that when you start when they're a baby and 
talk to them as if they were older, teach them these words, and talk about all these things on and on every single day, it definitely does help their brain learn, okay, when mommy says cat, and I see her mouth say cat a hundred times a day, I'm gonna learn how to say cat. Like that's just, I think their brains are working that way. Maybe had I done more of that with my daughter, she probably would be able to say more words now than she can. But again, it doesn't mean that I, can, I can't start now. I can totally start using these flashcards, which I actually have. I ordered some flashcards for her like a month or two ago and I started using those with her and she already has learned so many new words just from doing those and asking her, do you know what that is? And seeing the picture and then showing the word and touching the word so that she can see what it's saying, watching my mouth. So I definitely think that totally helps. And again, you can start it anytime you want. I mean, your baby could be a newborn and you could start doing it then because even though you may think, oh, they don't know what I'm saying, they're learning, they're watching your mouth, they're hearing the word, you're touching you know, the postcard that says what it is and they're seeing it, they're totally learning. It doesn't matter what stage they're at. Okay, so this one is so cute. This is his first puzzle. This is so cute. This is actually a rubber piece. It's not wood, it's rubber. So he could probably chew on this if he wanted to, which is nice. Um, and then it's got a little picture of a baby. So it's perfect again for their hot hand and eye coordination to be able to pick this up, to be able to put it back. You know, it may look really simple to us, but for them, it's gonna be very hard. It's their first puzzle to be able to do. Put that piece back in there. So that is super cute. And then we have a drinking cup. So this will be his drinking cup. Look at how sweet and cute that is, so tiny. It is metal. It's got a little tiny like lip, a little handle here, and then the lip around so he can learn how to drink out of a cup. That is another thing that is so good for your babies to learn. When they start being able to eat solids and bring food to their mouth, giving them a cup like this to learn how to drink out of instead of just a bottle or a sippy cup with a nipple on it is so, so beneficial for them. So I'm super excited about this. I was actually gonna buy, not a metal one, but I think it's called Easy Peasy is the company and they sell a little mini rubber cup for babies. It's a weighted bottom so that they can learn how to use a cup to drink out of instead of just a bottle. So I'm super excited to start using this with baby. Let's see how he, he learns how to use it and how he likes it. Next thing is this guy. This is the ball drop box. I almost ordered one and I'm glad I didn't on Amazon because I didn't know it was gonna come in this box. All it is is he learns how to drop the ball in here and then it's gonna come out of the tunnel and come out here and then keep doing it. It's just something fun. It might be repetitive, but that's good for them. So the wood balls are great for this one. Comes right out. And then he's got a couple of them that he can use for that. And then last, I probably should have pulled this out first to show you guys, but it comes with that little booklet I was saying. It also comes with some cute, each box has come with little stickers with the month on it. So if you wanted to take their picture, you just take the sticker off and put it on their shirt or on a blanket behind them. And then it shows the month that they're at to take their picture. It's so cute. But they all come with this little guy on a ring. And this is gonna share, tell you exactly what each item is. This one, the inspector play guide, ways to play, expert tips, developmental, development info, at home activities. So not only is it gonna share about what each toy is and how to play with it, when to bring it out, but it's also gonna share a couple ideas that you can do at home with baby that doesn't have anything to do with these toys. So maybe practical things like, you know, in the kitchen that you can do um, with your baby at this stage. So for example, at seven months, it says here, your baby likes looking at your mouth and is aware of changes in the tone of your voice. Your baby likes to touch your face, pull on your hair, and put your their fingers in their mouth, which is very true. It says, give your baby time to splash in the tub. Your baby can push up using straight arms with their hips and legs on the floor. This is for eight months. And your baby likes to pass an object from one hand to the other, then into their mouth. They take it out to bang or shake it and repeat the process. So these are all devel developmental stages that you can be looking for at those ages and things that you can do with your baby. So like for eight months it says, give your baby objects they can bang together. Here are the play things and it's got a little tab for each item. So like this, knowing what things are, things I see, texture cards, 
why do this, which it tells you why you should be doing this with your baby, and then how to do it. And then the back right here, this yellow tab says more activities. So this is like the stuff that you can do at home that really has nothing to do with the toys, just extra ideas for you. So this one says a dip in the sink. And again, it tells you why you do this and how to do it. We have sensory bottle. There is learning about real life objects, everyday transformations. Yeah, so these are great to have. And I keep all of these from every box. There's still things from his five to six month um, little binder thing booklet that I actually implement today. So I can still go back to it and reference back to that booklet. So always keep these with you. And so I have a little cabinet in the kitchen, which I'm probably gonna have to clean out another cabinet because the more of these that we get, the more we have. Like I said, instead of having these out everywhere, I try to keep everything in the cabinet. And then when I do my toy rotation, I only take certain things out and put those out. I think I put out six toys or five or six toys for Jade every week on her little toy rotation station. And then for baby boy, I pull out about two and I set them somewhere that Jade can't get them, but then whenever I go to play with baby boy, then I can pull them down and I can sit with him and play with him. So next is for baby Jade, which like I said, she's two years old. This is the Enthusiast Play Kit. This is for months 28, 29, and 30. And like I said, we started getting them um, about three months ago. The first boxes that they got, his was five to six months, and hers was, what was it? I think it was 25, 26, 27 months for that box. So this one is a little bit later. She um, is not quite ready for this just yet, but she will be, so I figured having it all together i usually order both of theirs at the same time so having them together is great it's going to show you what's in the box the helper was the one we just got that's 25 26 27. this is the enthusiast which is 28 29 and 30. then we have the investigator and the free spirit and that goes from 31 to 36 months old and once they get to this stage there's not necessarily like a timeline of when you should be pulling these out but again we still it does come with the booklet so it shows you like how to play with them and what to be teaching your child just like the other box i actually ordered this exact puzzle in different it has a different color scheme from amazon for i think it was last month or two months ago for baby jade and she does like it but it was a little bit hard for her so i only put it out at certain times for her to do it with me but now we have another one from love every so it comes this little puzzle you've got the circle the square the triangle the rectangle and each one has little holes in it so obviously when they go to put that piece back on they have to make sure that they place it just right on top of those holes for it to fit so that's really cute this one i know jade is gonna love because she every time i clean and i have to spray something she wants to spray it so it comes with your their very own spray bottle we can fill this up with water and it's an easy sprayer because i went to try to find one like this for her to use and the spray bottles that i found are so hard like it's not small enough for her and then the way that this part was working was really hard for her to hold and spray at the same time so i think that the way that they have made their bottles for babies is definitely going to be a lot easier for her and it comes with a squeegee like this so she can spray and then squeegee off this one y'all look at this this is a little picnic kit so it's got her little handles and then when you open you open it up like this she's got her little blanket to lay down once you pull it out it comes with little plates and they're all little metal plates it also comes <laughs> with a little tea kettle or you could probably put like juice and water in there you know to pour it out a little pitcher and it's very own little cups and napkins like how cute are those oh my god so cute so now that it's getting warmer outside, she can take this outside with us and we can have a little pretend picnic with her and her dollies. That is just adorable. Next one is going to be this guy, which this one is called the Every Which Way Scale and Pails. So it comes, this is the scale, and then it also comes with the pails that go on there so that they learn, you know, you put this guy on and you, Obviously you could fill one up with rice or maybe put water in one or beans or something, 
um, and then they move these pieces to try to get them level. Next one we have for her, uh oh. Well, I'm gonna have to redo all of these because they obviously got all mixed up. But this is like a little glue station. It comes with glue for her to use. It comes with a little brush to be able to brush on the glue. It is the Sticky Shapes Glue Station. Oh, I'm guessing, so I guess we put, this is a little tiny container. Mommy can put, I can put glue in there for her to dab with her paintbrush. That way she doesn't <laughs> squirt all the glue out from the glue thing. And then there's a ton of different shapes. So you've got different colors and different shapes. And then she can learn how to glue these shapes onto a piece of paper. And everything comes in its very own little box, which again, even that makes it better for me when I go to put these things in the cabinet away from her um, for next time. Then it's easier for me to put them together and put them away. And then we have a book. This one is my favorite nature buddy. So we've got a little cute story talking about nature, being outside. I love this, insects, flowers, um, and there's even talking about feelings in here and how to deal with your feelings, how to talk about them. So that again is great, especially because she is a two year old right now. So you know that saying, terrible twos, they have all the emotions right now and trying to tell me or daddy how she feels is very hard and of course when you have big feelings in this time of her life that makes her more frustrated so learning how to deal with our feelings how to talk about them how to express them is definitely going to be good for her and then of course just like in the last one it does come with the little booklet it tells you what everything is inside this box how to play with it um, what to do it tells you um, on the importance of reading with your child and what it does for your child. This one, again, just like the other one, also is gonna share different activity ideas for you to do with your child, you know, that don't only include these, these um, actual toys, you know, other things that you can do with your baby at home, and which is great because when you run out of ideas to bring out for your kid to have fun time, activity time, you know, if it's arts and crafts or trying to be outside, if it's sensory play, a lot of times it gets very hard for us parents to figure out something to do with them. So I love that they add that in here so we get a couple more ideas for our kids. All right, y'all, so that is it for the unboxing. Now I'm gonna go in the other room and bring y'all with me and we're gonna go ahead and set up her new toy rotation for this week and all the things that I'm gonna put out. Um, some of them will be from this box, some might be from the old box, also some things maybe from uh, toys that I already had that we might have already used. And a toy rotation doesn't really mean that you bring out a brand new toy every single, like each toy is a brand new toy every single week. Sometimes I may do that if I know, if I've noticed that she's getting bored with every single one that I put out the, night, the week before. But I try to make sure that I bring in some new things. I keep some of the old things, you know, kind of just rearrange. And then you just watch your child and try to figure out which ones. If some of, one of the toys just seems way too easy for her or the task that it's asking her to do seems too easy for her and boring, then we'll take that out and switch it for something else. If it seems too hard, then I'll try to find a different way. Um, or maybe it's too overwhelming. So if it has too many pieces for her to do, I may take away some of the pieces so that it makes it easier for her and her mind is like, oh, there's only five puzzle pieces now instead of 20, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and head out there and do that. Starting with the sink that I have up here, this is from her uh, last Love Every box and she loves this thing so I try to keep it out pretty much all the time. Then this game right here I bought on Amazon, it will be linked in my Amazon storefront. It is a little threading game and a stacking game for her. Then we have her book from her Love Every box. This came from the last Love Every box, it came with the sink and it's for colors and stacking. And we have, of course, her little spray bottle and her squeegee. I know she's going to love. 
This is a few flashcards that I found on Amazon that she has been loving so far. And then this I also got on Amazon and it's this little carrot uh, game that she has to put all the right puzzle pieces in the right spots. So this is what we have for this week and I will just check back to see how she likes it. y'all that is it for this video i hope you guys got some inspiration if you are interested in you know starting to do toy rotations or interested into those love every boxes um play kits i definitely have everything linked down below for you so if you want to look into anything that has to do with love every their play kits they also have other items there like their play gym and other things you can buy from them and i will have my amazon storefront linked for you as well because all the different uh, sensory play ideas and different toys for their ages. I did link some of the items that I have bought and some of the items that I would like to buy in the future for them to try out. So I did link all of that in my Amazon storefront for y'all. So both of those will be down in the description box if you need them, but obviously you do not have to buy a bunch of stuff to start out. If you are starting out, find things in your home to start using a lot of practical things definitely um, is a great way to start out. For one example being, I let all my kids try to help me in the kitchen whenever I can. So I, if it's something that I know they can help me with, then I ask them to help me, whether it's cooking, cleaning, doing dishes, practical things is the best way to go. And then obviously there's so many sensory play items that you can use that are already in your home. So you've got spoons, you've got water, you've got bowls, you've got rice and beans. You can make all kinds of things, which again, Pinterest is great for that. But like I said, if you're wanting to go with the play items, Love Every is the best way to go. It takes the guesswork out of it. I just, I can't say enough about these play kits. They're awesome. So thank y'all again for watching. I love all of y'all's love and support. It means the world to me. And if you guys like videos like this, let me know um, by giving this video a big thumbs up and also send me a comment too, because I think it would be fun to do an unboxing every single time we get a new box so I can show y'all what's in them for those months. And then I will also keep doing the toy rotations included in this video so you guys can see how I rotate out the toys and what we we bring in for that a week or whatever it is that we're doing. Let me know what y'all think and what you want to see. And we will see you guys on our next video. Bye. Say bye, boo boo. Good <laughs> damn. Pretty blue eyes. Yeah.